hi guys welcome back to my channel thank you so much for stopping by thank you for all the love today i'll be showing you how to make this ball dress for a one year old please don't forget to subscribe and help me like this video thank you so to make this ball dress i have my pattern here we drafted out my pattern this ball dress is for one year i'm using a measurement of um, 12 months which is one year one year old I have my lining here, about um, 2 yards of lining here. I have about 3 yards of tool net here, but I'm not going to use everything. And my satin, and then my flowery fabric I will be using for the skirt parts. So, for the pattern, I want to alter the front, because I will be adding two to, to the yoke. So, I'm just going to come down by three and a half. So if you want to alter it, it depends on depends on him um, how deep you want it to be. So now I'm just gonna trim out that part. So now I'm gonna keep this to cut the yoke and then I'll cut this on this. So I've traced out the um pattern off camera. And I just added a um, light gum stitch to the back just to stabilize the fabric. So I added it to both the satin and the lining. This is the front and this is the back. So now for the yoke, this is the net. I've doubled the net. This is into two. So all I have to do now is make sure I add one inch to it when I'm cutting. I'm going to place it like so and then cut around the net. just give this middle the notch and now what you have is two you have two pieces so we're done with the up, up, okay i'm going to use this net to do the frills on the hand and let me just measure it so that i'll be sure of the length i cut out you can cut out as long as you want just how full you want the sleeve to be it is like 60 inches in length the length is like 60 inches and then I'm going to divide it into two. I'm going to divide the width into two. And I just divide here into two now. So now, here will be for one sleeve. All you need to do is just gather it up. You can curve the edge if you like. And I'll gather the other one up. So that's it for the sleeve. So just in case you are wondering the measurement I used in cutting out the pattern, this is the measurement. Because now I'm going to cut the skirt part and I need this waist measurement. The waist is 20. So you can double the waist or you can double or triple the waist depending on how bulky you want it to be. So um, you also need your shoulder to knee and the shoulder to the knee is 19 so all you need to do to know um, the measurement for the skirt you're going to remove the half length which is 7.5 we're going to surprise 7.5 from 19 so we're going to have 11.5 plus um depends on how wide you want to fold the bottom that will determine how many allowance you're going to add so we have 11.5 we need half inch to attach the bodies to the down that's 12 inches. So I'm going to use like 2 inches to run the bottom. So that will be 14 inches. I'll be cutting a skirt length of 14. Now you can see this, my fabric. This part is already like satin. So I can just choose to fold it big and it will just stay on top of the flower part like so. So I'm just going to measure 12 inches from this flower part. I'll cut it out. So I've cut out the skirt part. And what I have here is... 16 inches and extra 16 inches so that's like um 76 inches that's what i have here that's is more than three times what i'm going to gather it's almost four times it was almost 80 inches but the width is not up to 80 so i'm just gonna leave it like so i don't want to join it i don't want the bottom to have joining at all so this is going to be for both the front and the back so now go ahead and cut the lining So for the lining, I'm just going to mention here the width I have here. 
So this is 30 inches. So I'm going to use this. I'm just going to measure the length I'm going to work with. Now I'm going to measure 13 inches because I'm going to fold the bottom too. I'm just going to cut it. I'm just going to notch the middle. Yeah. So now I'm going to cut my net. As usual, I'm just going to cut it in six six inches and gather it up. I'm just going to measure six inch. Measure twelve. Or you can do it like so. So if you want your board dress to have an extra bounce. Then you have to cut so many of this one and then layer it. So now for the lining and first of all fold the bottom i'll take it over to the machine and fold it with one inch after folding it i'm going to leave half an inch i'll leave half an inch from the bottom now and i'll just start and then i'll leave one inch for the zipper line and i'll just start gathering this two on top after gathering it i'll gather another step i'll probably do like three steps and they'll be close to each other so if i gather one step here I'll probably leave like two inches and gather the next step before I gather the last one. So let me gather this one first for the lining. So now I've layered this, I just did two layers. You can see. I just, and I've done the gather stitch, but I've not drawn it yet. So I can always draw it when I'm ready to fix it. That's the gather stitch. So we'll just set it aside. I've done gathers for this one too. I've done the gathers for this. And I fold the bottom, I folded the bottom. So I'm going to do the upper bodies. So for the front bodies, I'm going to take this part and um, sew the yoke to it. Just make sure you, the middle that you notch matches with this needle. And we're going to sew it half an inch from this end to the other end. You take the lining and you will do the same thing for the lining. I'm going to sew the net half an inch to the other end. So now I'm done attaching it, you can see. Now I'm going to take the main fabric and then join it on the shoulder. And you do the same for the lining. You take the lining, join the back. Just join it together on the shoulder. So now 
that I've attached the front to the back. I also mark where I want this um cutter sleeve to stop. So now I'm just going to notch the middle. I'll place it in the middle too. So now I'm going to gather it up to this this place in the front, so this joining between the net and the satin. And then for the back, I already marked where I want it to stop to. It's going to stop here. So just go ahead and gather the sleeve on both sides. So now I'm done fixing the sleeve. The next thing I'm going to do is take the lining. And then I'm going to sew it around the neck, starting from the back, the zip line. I'm going to sew it around to the other zip line. And then I'll sew the armhole too. I'll sew the armhole and around the zip line. So I'm done sewing around the armhole and the neck. I'm just going to go ahead and turn it out. So I'm going to go ahead and give it the press. So now I'm just going to take the main fabric front bodies and the main fabric back bodies. And I'm going to run it. Make sure that the armhole match. Run it down to the lining side. You do the same for the other side. So your one inch seam allowance. So now once you're done closing the side. Now see, I finished closing the side. Just give it a press. I'm going to take the skirt part and then take the main fabric. You're going to join it half an inch from this end of the zipper line to the other end of the zipper line. Please, if you notch the middle, make sure that your middle matches, okay? It's very important. So now I'm going to sew it from this end to the other end. That is the main fabric and the main fabric of the skirt. So, well, I attached attach the skirt to it. Now, you're going to take the lining. Here's the lining now. And you take your lining, the down part of your lining. And you're going to make sure that this your lining, after sewing it, it will be resting on the cloth. Now, this side will be um, touching the child. So, you're just going to flip it over like so. Get the middle and the middle of your lining, can secure it with pin, and then sew from your zipper line down to the other end of the zipper line, half an inch. So now we're done attaching the lining, you can see. So now we're going to fix the zip. So to fix the zip, we're going to sew the main fabric together. Okay, to make sure that this um, joining between the upper bodies and down the bodies, the mesh. Then you are going to stitch your one inch to the bottom. Before you stitch your one inch, you are going to come down three or four inches. Before, after coming down three or four inches, then you um, stitch your bodies. So let me close here. I'm going to close here now. I'll come down three. I'm going to come down four inches and then I'll close it. So now I've closed it. You can see. Just the main fabric. I've closed it. You can see I left four inches before I closed it. So now on this um neckline at the back, I'm just going to open it up a bit. Just open it up with that one inch. Now you're going to take your zipper. So if your zipper is too long, you can see mine is too long, and push it up a bit, you can cut your zipper. So before you cut it, make sure you zip it down. And 
and then you just cut it. You can see. So now, please, you can't zip it. If you zip it, the zip is going to fly away. You're going to. This is my uh, zipper. I would really love to show you the machine, but I can't move my phone. I don't have something to hold my phone when I'm sitting on the machine. So I'm going to turn the zip upside down, like so. And I'm just going to sew that one inch up to um, the closing. Going to sew it like so. Very close. You need a zipper foot for, for your zip to come out like invisible. So you're going to sew it very close to the teeth of the zip down to the to the end. So now I've attached one side. So to attach the other side, you're just going to do the same thing. But please make sure that this I'm joining between the upper bodies and the skirts. They merge, they match at the back. So now to so sew it, just turn it over. And you're going to stitch it like so with your one inch i like to start this other side from the bottom but i'll just make sure like this place merge in order to make sure it merge most times i can choose to secure with pin and then i'll just go ahead let me check okay so it match i'll just go ahead and stitch it now from the down straight up with my one inch zipper allowance so just stitch it from the down to the top side so now we're fix the zip something so I can't zip it up fully yes because of I've not closed the neck where you can see so next thing we're going to do we're going to cover it with the lining so to cover it with the lining you can see I just raised this is the dress now. Just raise it up like this and then stitch your lining like so. Stitch it maybe from this um joining now. You're going to measure five inches. Remember the main fabric will measure out four inches. So for the lining, you're going to measure five inches from this waist, measure five inches and stitch it down one inch. So after closing the one closing one inch your lining five inches away from the joining, you're gonna see now it's closed this is the lining you're going to take the neckline now you can see the neckline you're going to take it and then you're going to close it back so close your neckline back with half an inch and then when you get to this zipper part you're going to stitch one inch very close to the mark you're not going to see it you won't see it but just sew it very close to the mouth of the zip down to where your joining is you're going to sew it like so up to where this or maybe up to where the zip is or up to where you close the, the lining you sew it like that sew it from the neckline very close to the teeth down to the, and do the same for the other side so we're done with the dress with the back and this is the inside so now we're just going to make a bow for the back of the dress so I've cut down this piece of fabric and the length is 23 inches and the width is 14 inches i'll just go over and run half an inch half an inch stitch from beginning to the end so after sewing it i just turned it out i just turned it out now i'm going to insert kind of line Now that joining is going to be at the back, they won't see it. So what I'm going to do now, I'm just going to secure the screen line inside. I'm going to top stitch it here and top stitch it on the other side. So after securing it like so, you just turn it like this. Make sure that it's the back, that joining line is at the back there. 
and then you're just going to sew it let's sew maybe half an inch or one inch so after trying it at the back you just turn it over and then now you're going to use the needle and thread to tack it make sure like you get the middle So to attach the bow to the dress, you need to like press button to do that. So now you're going to place the middle, the bow in the middle, and then you're going to know exactly where you want to put the press button. You can mark it with chalk. I'm just going to mark mine with chalk. So I know I'm going to fix it here, you can see. And right here done with the bow i'll just go ahead now and put some lace trim in front this lace trim i already trimmed out so i'm gonna place it here and also here like so so this is what the dress looks like at the end of the day please if you like this video leave me a thumbs up share this video with your friends and family don't forget to subscribe to my channel guys i'll see you in my next video bye